extras 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 hey welcome this is dr from try continuing from the last video now two things are remaining first mouse interaction and second post processing so let's start with mouse interaction let's go let's add mouse move event listener and collect mouse data on x and y axis here i am normalizing the value of x by dividing client x with window width and multiplying it with 2 and then subtracting minus 1 this will normalize it between minus 1 to 1 so that our mesh will move between minus 1 to 1 in pixels in webgl or in 3js similarly we will do this on y axis and interpolate it with previous x position of mesh and the new x position of mouse similarly do this on the y axis moving in the opposite direction so we have to add a negative sign before the y axis value the interaction movement is still pretty high so we will divide it with some value and check again yeah that's perfect ok so let's start with post processing let's initialize a function called post processing and we have to import some file from the 3.js repo first is effect composer second is render pass then shader pass and copy shader render pass will render the main scene to the other passes we will pass our current scene and current camera to the render pass Now let's pass copy shader to the shader pass which will copy our post processing shaders and pass it to the effect composer. We will enable the render to screen parameter. Now let's initialize our composer in which we will be passing our current renderer. Effect composer is the main class that will route our that will route our shaders to the main renderer. It will create another layer on top of our current renderer. Now let's import film shader which will create grain like effect and bloom pass which will create a glowing effect we will pass our film shader to the shader pass figure the uniforms of our film shader uniforms are practically parameters that are passed on to the fragment shader in glsl language grayscale uniform will turn our render scene into grayscale that is black and white that so we will keep it to false we will keep our n intensity that is noise intensity to 1 we don't want any scan lights so we will keep 0 on s intensity and on s count now we will add bloom pass we will keep the intensity of our bloom pass to 0.5 We have to add render pass, shader pass, copy shader, film shader, bloom pass, everything to effect composer so that it, it can render the post processing scene on top of our current renderer. We will get our clock delta. We will set auto clear on our renderer to false and then we will manually set it to clear. Now we will pass composer effect as our renderer with the delta interval. Let's also set the 3JS clock. As you can see we have st some static noise. So to animate that noise we, ha we have to change the one uniform in film shader that is end time. Let's set the time value to the delta interval. But I think we need to multiply it so to some random value so that we can find the random noise in it. Let's multiply by some value. So yeah, that's it. I'll catch you in the next week.